Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. My name is Demi and today is the start of a brand new vlog. It is the second or third week, I can't remember. I filmed one the first week and then I never uploaded it because I didn't, because I forgot basically. Um, so we'll say this is the second week. Uh, so far, if you watched my last vlog, you'll know that I am reading Blackout by Simon Scarrow. Hello, which is a Hello Mini Quilts of the Week, yeah. Um, which <laughs> which is a pre-publication book from the Tea Time Bookshop which is really really good I'm really really enjoying it and um, so it is about a German um, police officer who's investigating a murder he himself is under suspicion because he is not conforming to the Nazi party he isn't wanting to um, conform to their their government basically so he's under a lot of suspicion and now that these um, murders are happening thank you Millie now that these murders are happening, it's um, he has to investigate that. So it's it's really, really good and I love the book. In my last vlog I showed you it, it is just absolutely gorgeous with these pages and I love the front. You can't even you can barely even see what it's called, but you can see it there sort of on the side there. Um yeah. I have two days off work this week, so I'm super excited. Um it's Monday, it's actually about half past four in the morning. Um you might hear June snoring. Um I can't sleep. I'm having a really good girl. A really really bad fibro flare at the moment and um, if you don't know what fibromyalgia is it is a chronic pain condition which affects your muscles and your joints um, and I've had it I've been diagnosed with it for about four years but I've had symptoms of it I've had really bad flares for about ten years today I've got today off and um, if I ever get to sleep I will be um, sleeping probably till about 12 o'clock and then I'll be getting off my day and then on Tuesday it is James's 30th birthday so that's super exciting I'm going to decorate the whole house tomorrow um, well the living room if I can again I'm hoping I can fight through the pain I got him a couple of games for his birthday um, but all that will go up um, maybe not him up in his presence he's not keen on appearing on camera because he hates listening to his own voice but um, hopefully his birthday surprise will be really really good um, for the moment, the um, Blackout was the only book I'm planning to read. Um, obviously, I mean, that's not going to take me all week. But um, because I am working, I've not really got a plan to listen to anything um, audiobook-wise. But I do have uh, The Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Rings lined up to listen to when I go back to work on Monday. Uh, no, uh, Wednesday. Um, hopefully that will be really good. Um, and then once I have done Blackout, um, I will go back to using my blog to pick out my next read. The one thing I will say about Blackout is because it's a pre-publication, it's not showing on Goodreads at the moment. So it's not showing under my currently reading, which sucks. Um, but as soon as it is out, on the 18th of March, my review will be going up. But I will put my review on my Facebook and my Instagram and my blog before that, if you're interested in that. And obviously I will tell you all about it here. Um, I do also want to say that I'm really, really sorry. Giving synopsis is, is not my thing. Um, I tend to stray into the spoiler. So I try to keep my synopsis. Synopsis? Synopsi. Synopsis. I try to keep them. Um, it doesn't matter. I try to keep them quite short and very, very little detail. So... What I will do is any books I read, I will put the description, the synopsis um, by the publisher in the um, this, the description box below. But yeah, so that's sort of my plan for this week. I am speaking quietly. I will say um, I've run out of hearing aid battery. So I'm trying not to speak at my normal level because to me my normal level will be like shouting because I can't hear myself. Um, so I'm talking very quietly and obviously it's half past four in the morning and I'm not going to be jumping about um, I could jump about if I tried so um, but yes yeah, so hopefully it will be a good week hopefully this flare won't last too long but yes uh, sorry I keep scratching my hand I, I've taken a tramadol to try and help me sleep which hasn't worked um, and I'm sort of got this like skin crawly itchiness I am going to try and get some sleep I at this stage I think it's past trying to sleep personally so instead what I might do is I might read 
this is a blackout in bed. I have a night light, so I don't disturb James and anything else like that. Like I'm gonna do so lovely. Have a a lovely day, and I will update you tomorrow. And then we might do it like I'll still need think of putting up James's um, decorations. He knows I'm putting up decorations. I had to tell him because he always comes to bed either with me or after me. Um, so it would be a bit odd if I'd got if I'd been like, no, no, you go to bed. I will stay up. You know, he'd been like, mm, no. Uh, that makes him sound really controlling. It's not. It he likes to stay up or come up with me in case I have a flare and I can't get up the stairs. Um, which happens more often than not. Um, but yes, so I will film that tomorrow night, Monday night, yeah, Monday night. Um, but until then, I will see you later. I forgot to show you what James got me for Valentine's Day, and it's uber, uber cute. Let me just put my walking stick down. So, if anyone plays Animal, so it's very close, if anybody plays Animal Crossing, you will appreciate this. If not, then you can bask in my excitement. He got me a little Celeste plushie. I absolutely love it. It's actually, it was actually a birthday present, but his super secret present came um, today, so he said that I could open this and have it for Valentine's Day. I absolutely love it. She's so cute. I love Celeste. Are you coming up to bed? Are you coming up to bed, baby? Well, I'm going back to bed. Hello, I had an accident. I knocked over my... I, this is just a stupid update, but I knocked over my Red Bull can with my arse. And it landed on my book. Look, it's all wet. It's all wet. It's so pretty dry. It's a bit sticky. I need to get my proper wipe. But it was absolutely devastating. I was like, no! So, it's a, thing. so it's, it's a minor fatality, but it's okay. It's okay. Oh, honestly. Hello, it is bedtime on Monday. Um, I didn't do much reading today. I think I read about 10 pages, if that. Um, I ended up editing my blog from last week uh, and adding the captions and everything and how oh, it just took forever. Um, but it is currently uploading. Woohoo! That should be live tomorrow at some point, hopefully. Uh, but yeah, I I have read a little bit of um, Blackout, and it is really really good. It's it's kind of interesting. It's I was wrong. It's not set during the Nazi uprising. It's actually set about four months after the start of the war, um, and it's really interesting to see how the p 
police sort of took to the Nazi party. Um, that's been really interesting to read. Um, like I say, I'm only like about 30 pages in, but there's been, it's kind of given you quite a lot already. Um, but not really a lot to really give proper sort of mini review. I just want to update you guys. Um, as you saw before I added that in, I have decorated living room for James's birthday. He, I made him go upstairs at about 20 to 12 and I decorated it and he loved it. So I also gave him his present and I said it's up to you if you open it now and he tore it open. <laughs> So he still got some presents to open tomorrow, so it's not too bad. Um, oh, I'm not naked. I've got I've got a top on. Um. Uh, yeah. So one of his presents was. Uh, Bloodborne, the PC game, the sorry PlayStation game, and he's in that, and he's just he's already like it's really scary. Oh my god! Oh for oh for fuck's sake! Oh for God's sake! Oh my God! Oh my God. That was a mistake, um, and it's really stupid because apparently you can't pause the game, which I didn't know. Um, so I think he's finding that a little bit frustrating. But I have decided to come to bed because I'm just so tired. I eventually got to sleep at about half past seven in the morning, and I slept till maybe 11 so I got three or four hours yeah four hours I can't do math um but I'm just exhausted and after sitting sort of concentrating on my computer I'm just I'm so ready just to settle down with my book and just chill out and eventually just pass out to sleep What are you doing, dog? That can't, that can't be comfortable. <laughs> well, it must be if she's doing it. <laughs> You're like a little pretzel. pretzel. You're so cute. You're so cute, baby kiddo. Because I can get on. Hello, welcome back. It is Wednesday morning. Back at work, unfortunately. Oh, that massive pile of washing is folded clothes. That's clean, don't look at it. Um, as you can see, part birthday decorations are still up. They're going to stay up. It's my birthday next week, so James has said we'll leave them up till then, which is very nice of him. But I thought I'd just give you a little update um, before I sort of focus on work. 
Uh, so this morning I started listening to the Lord of the Rings, the Fellowship of the Rings. Um, it might just be the version I have, but I've been listening for well over an hour and it's only just started to get to the story. Like, there was this massive introduction that was obviously an interview by G.R.R. Tolkien, like a foreword by him. And then there was like a chapter concerning hobbits and then there was another chapter concerning something else. And it was like, what are you talking about? Just go to the story. So the story has finally just started, which is something. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be a, a long, it's gonna be a long audiobook. It's about 19 hours long. So, oh, uh, it's about 19 hours long. So I've not, what's wrong? Oh, Millie's sad. Jane just had to go into the office. Can you see her? Millie, what's wrong? You'll be back. Jane just had to go into the office to go and pick up some more equipment or some nonsense like that. Um, so Millie is sad because it's the first time he's left in about two weeks. Um, where was it? Oh yeah, so um, the audiobook is about 19 hours long, so that'll take take a while to get through, unfortunately. But I will hang in there and add that. In other news, I am still reading Blackout. I am on page uh, 230. So I am over halfway. Uh, there's 419 pages, I think. Um, but it's really, really good. It's really interesting and there are, um, there's a, a rape scene, it doesn't really go into detail, it's sort of from undressing and then like sort of the aftermath and then there's an attempted rape scene in it so, um, which I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't really expecting that but, um, so those two scenes are in it, I don't know if there's going to be another one, like I say I'm only halfway through but I will let you know. The only problem, pro, it's not really a problem, but the only sort of, there you go, the only sort of issue I suppose that I have found with it is that because it's set in Germany there's a lot of words that I can't pronounce and I don't know what they mean. Um, although it did take me all day to realise that they call themselves Kripo or Kripo, I can't pronounce it, sorry, yeah, I'm sure it's not Kripo. Um, and I was like, I don't, I don't know what that means, I don't know what that means and eventually I sort of flipped back and it was uh, an abbreviation of criminal policing. I don't know if I pronounced that right, but it's basically the criminal policing um, in Germany. But there's other words like every sort of official person has a title, but I don't know what that title is. It's always like something Führer and then and I, I don't know what, I don't know how to pronounce them and I don't know what they mean. Um, but I did notice that at the back, is it at the back? Yep, yeah, there is like a, there's like a note on police and SS ranks at the back, but, so maybe read that first. But, do you know what, it doesn't even say that, it just says, it's just a little bit about sort of the history and certain ranks, but it doesn't really mean what they mean. It didn't, really, it didn't really say what they mean, but I am really, really enjoying it. I read over 200 pages yesterday, so so yeah, I, it's really, really good. Um, I think that's really all there is. I'm having sort of a slightly better day fibromyalgia-wise, but I'm not promising that it's going to stay that way. I have lots of water to sort of try and keep me going basically. I have, look at this bottle. Oh, look, it's like an old day thing. And it's like, so it's like a glass an hour. Glass an hour. Um, I bought that not realising it was that big, but <laughs> there you go. But other than that, it's time to get back, unfortunately, to work. Hello. So I have just finished Blackout by Simon Scarrow. I really, really liked it. Um, I think I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. I really liked it, but I, there were sort of bits of it that I didn't, it's not that I didn't like, but things like 
the ranks I because I didn't know what they were it kind of I, I didn't know where they ranked in sort of terms of important importantness um, but like I say there's a bit at the back that is like notes on that on what their rank is um, but it was at the back of the book so by the time you read the book it's like oh, oh it's there um, so that maybe should have gone at the front of the book there was obviously because it's Nazi Germany there's stuff about there's sort of Jewish insults that's been thrown about and there obviously the rape scene which was a bit if it had said in the synopsis that the bodies of the women suffered sexual assault then I would be more prepared for it um, but the actual rape scene it's not an actual rape scene it's sort of before it and then after I, it's hard to describe but it's not like a full blown rape scene um, but I think if they just added that to the synopsis it would be sort of like a mini trigger warning for people who need it but yeah so I think 4 out of 5 for that but I really really liked it and my review will go up on Goodreads on the 18th of March when it is out but it is available for pre-order so I've also picked my next book as well as listening to the Lord of the Rings, the Fellowship of the Rings I went into my pot and I pulled out the Scarlet Ribbon by Derry O'Dowd um, this came in my last Tea Time Bookshop uh, box I believe yeah it came in the, the second box so the last one um, um, I don't really know much about it I know that it is a Irish surgeon who um, is sort of struggling uh, something happens after his marriage and he is or he either is already or he becomes a male midwife I'm not really sure but I know there's bits in Paris and London and other and other places obviously Ireland but that's really all I know about it I've, I've never heard of it before um, before it arrived so but it does look really really good and um, so I'm going to go and start this Hey Mel, wanna go walk? Come on in. Hello my lovelies, it is Friday morning. I didn't update you yesterday but I don't really read a lot on a Thursday because that's like mine and James's night just to be sort of together. Um, that started from like way before we were a couple so we, we've kept up that tradition. However, I did do a little bit of reading. Um, I listened, no I didn't listen to anything yesterday actually. I am on chapter three of The Scarlet Ribbon. So I can tell you a little bit more about it. So James is a a barber surgeon in training and he's focusing or he's been asked by his teacher to focus on male midwifery um he has just got married and it does say that there's a tragedy and i've seen i didn't skip ahead i just i'm getting a vibe that something awful is going to happen to his poor wife who is currently pregnant um it's it's so sad um but it is really good um I am enjoying it, but it's going to be really, really sad and it's coming up soon. Um, so hopefully I'll get a bit more of that done tonight. I might I might finish it tonight. It's only about 236 pages or something. And I'm about 30 of the way through, so there's 200 pages left. I could probably do that tonight. And other than that, it's just working today. Mm, yep, just working. Um, anyway, I should really get on with my work. So I will see you later.
Hello, so it is, oh sorry Millie, it's Saturday afternoon, I've had a super lazy morning um, but I thought I would just update you. That noise by the way is James hoovering, um, clearly he's the best. Um, but yesterday, so I had a funny day yesterday, I'd been up since about 3 in the morning and I woke up and I was just exhausted. So I took a half day at work, finished at quarter to 12, went back to bed from about half 12 to 3 o'clock got up, went downstairs and then I slept again from about four o'clock to half past seven downstairs on the chair. Um, so yeah, I was just absolutely exhausted yesterday. But I did get uh, to 100, page 163 of the Scarlet Ribbon, so I'm well over halfway. I should finish that today. Uh, but I wanted to just say that yesterday I was so just not with it that my Tea Time Book Club subscription arrived and I just opened it. I didn't film myself opening it and I was like, oh crap. So I'm going to film that a bit later, maybe tomorrow, um, and put that up next Friday. Yeah, so these are the two books that I got. I'll go in a little, maybe a little bit more into detail about them in my un unboxing video, which I will be honest and I'll say that I've already opened it. Um, but they look really, really good. But for today, I'm going to go and I'm going to try and finish the Scarlet Ribbon before BlizzCon starts again tonight. I think it's about nine o'clock, so I should well be finished it by then. And then I will move on to my next read. Hello. So I have just finished the Scarlet Ribbon. And to be honest, I'm not that taken with it. I know a couple of times I've said it's really good, but as it went on, it just, I don't know, it's quite gory, it's not gory but it's very descriptive of childbirth and things that happen in childbirth um, and things that go wrong in childbirth. The story didn't really seem to go anywhere, like he was in, like it started to get good when he was in Paris and he was learning and then when he was in, he went to London it got a bit better as well and then he went back to Dublin and I thought he was, what I thought was he was going to start his own um, sort of charity for women and infants but yeah that didn't happen it just kind of turned into a bit of a romance and I was like oh okay it seemed a bit like the author was more focused on getting the um, procedures of the time right and these recipes of the time right than actually the story and there was a couple of points where he repeated himself so I don't know if he, if it was done on purpose, but I came across as very lazy writing. So there's a, for example, there's a bit when he goes to a whorehouse in London and he is treating a whore who has the pox, oh no, uh, syphilis, sorry. And the way he describes, like her hair's wispy and blah, blah, and he looks through her missing teeth and uh, long ulcers going down the back of her throat. And then that night he has a dream that the whore he met in Paris, Avril, who he sort of fell in love with, that was her that he was examining, but it was like word for word. He looked in the back of her, through her teeth in the back of the throat, he saw the long ulcers going down. But it was word for word. And it was just a bit like, did you just copy paste and change the name? And then he, he does it a couple of other times when he's dreaming, and then he did it a bit with his sister. Like, he meets his sister at the start, and she comes running towards him and then at the end she does it again coming towards him in the sun but again it's word for word what she's done the only thing that changed is the colour of her, of her underskirt and the fact that her that his son was there it was just very it was kind of annoying actually how repetitive it was um so i think i think i'm gonna go with two that might be generous two stars i think for the historical accuracy of it but that's kind of it there wasn't really anything else I liked it, it wasn't like oh that's a really strong character or that's really a strong character it just wasn't um but yeah so I think two stars for that one so I will go and write my review I have picked a book from the pot and the one that came out was The Way We Were by Maeve or Mauve ha uh, Maeve Harren and from reading the synopsis, it looks like it's about three generations of women from the same family as they each find a romantic interest. Um, so it's the daughter, the mum and the grandmother. So that looks really good. I'm hoping, I'm, I've am i had such a 
sort of string of not great books at the minute apart from Blackout which we also read at the start of this vlog it sort of started I don't know they just sort of started to go down not downhill but I started my year so well and I've not really got anything that's gone back up to that and I kind of I sort of look at it and I think why did I buy that <laughs> it's like but there you go so hopefully hopefully the way we were will bring us back up okay so it's Sunday and it's the last update for the vlog I did absolutely zero reading today because I spent the day playing Warcraft with James. It's been such a long day and I've had kind of a bad headache for all of it. But I am about 70 pages into the way we are, which is really nice. It's really cute. I was wrong. It's actually the grand, the mum and like the mum's mother-in-law. Sorry, the daughter, the mum and the mum's mother-in-law. Um, it's alright, it's kind of hard to really sort of work out who is sort of narrating that chapter because it chops and changes. Um, there's already a character I don't like. I, I don't know if I'm just becoming cynical. <laughs> Maybe I am, just because I'm like, I have to review it. I'm not going to enjoy it because blah blah. I don't know. Um, but other than that one character I don't like, it, it's quite good. Um, Hopefully I will finish it next week, but you will find that out in the next vlog. Until then, guys, like and subscribe, leave a comment below. I'm sorry, I'm really tired. <laughs> um, follow me on all the socials below. And other than that, just stay safe and have a nice week. Okay, till then, bye. Bye. Mwah.